There's an under undercurrent of human trafficking that exists in this area that I'm I'm slowly being educated on from the different people I, I speak with. To how frequent is it for people to to lose a child in a runaway situation to you know prostitution or human trafficking or something of that nature? It's not frequent. It's not frequent for them to lose them to sex trafficking, but it is frequent once that child takes off on their own to get into it. So once they're out of the house, once the kid has run away sufficiently to the point where you can't locate them quickly and you know reunite them, once they're gone, what I assume for like a week or something, probability skyrockets. No, I mean, there's not a kid I can't find. We can, we'll find a kid, right? That's, that's not the problem. A lot of the problems, you know, sometimes I'll take a kid home and within a few minutes, I want to run away. The house dynamics are so awful that I don't blame the kids for running away. But the kids, in order to go into survival mode, start sex trafficking themselves. And let me give you a, a story on how I kind of learned about this. And then social media doesn't help at all. Well, one of the times we actually took some foster kids in. So we take drop-off kids and we take foster kids in. Well, when you take foster kids in, you have their friends over. So we had a young lady who came over and said, hey, you know, can I use your shower? And she was going to have dinner with us. And well, this is a friend of one of the A friend kids. of one of our foster kids. Great, great. And we'd never met her before. I mean, she was articulate and medium well-dressed and, and just a normal kid. Normal kid, but... Asking for the shower was a little different. That's okay. We haven't had that happen before. So yeah, of course you can shower. And you stay for dinner, and let's have tribal council. Let's talk. Why do you need to use our shower? She goes, "Well, I haven't been home in six months." This girl was 15 years old, and right away it's like, "Are you a runaway?" It was like, "No." And I actually called and talked to her mom because as a police officer, I can't have a runaway over at our sure. house. Talk to her mom. And so what happens is, you know, mom's got some boyfriend that the daughter doesn't get along with. So they butt heads. Well, mom doesn't want to get kicked out of the boyfriend's house or doesn't want to give up boyfriend. So daughter says, I'm just going to go stay at my friend's houses so that daughter and boyfriend don't butt heads. And mom knows if she calls it in a runway, the police are going to bring daughter back. Daughter and boyfriend are going to butt heads. So now daughter has been out for couch surfing for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months and sometimes years. And I've got 12 and 13 year olds in the area that do the same thing. Now, this particular girl, we said, hey, well, why don't you stay at our house, right? And I talked to her mom about it. We'll get you to school. And she was going to school still. The problem with that is that now she's been a year on her own. And before that, she doesn't have any guidelines. There's no rules. There's, you don't have to get up. You don't have to dress a certain way. You don't have to be accountable to anybody for homework. You don't, there's no rules whatsoever. And it's not that they don't want to follow rules. They just don't know about following rules, right? So now you get to the Gomez house and we offer a a bedroom of your own, a shower, clothes, shoes. We offer everything and, you know, support, love. We'll be on your team no matter what. But there's rules. You have to be in at 10 o'clock on school nights. You have to tell us if you're going to get in a car, you know, with somebody that we don't know. You have to tell us different things. And so probably a week into it, she says, hey, you know what? I, I just can't live by your rules. I'm going to go and continue couch surfing because she can go to low-level drug dealers' houses and have sex with them twice a week and not have any rules and still have money, still do a lot of things. She just has no future there. But it's hard to convince a kid that's had no rules for pretty much their whole life to start abiding by rules because they don't know not they're they're not evil they're people's like well you can't blame a kid no i don't blame the kid for that right but we have to understand how these things work and so now you have girls in particular if they don't get along with their parents for them to leave the house and and just put on instagram hey i need a place to stay how many men are going to offer that girl a place to stay it's endless God. right and so one doesn't the sex trafficking doesn't suck the kids out of the house. The kids end up in sex trafficking after they're out of their house in order to survive. 